Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Rattlesnake Aviation, and I'll be uh, showing you my setup today. Uh, this is the setup that I've always used for flight simulation, and in recent days, it's the setup that I'm now using to record and upload videos and go live every now and again. Um, with that, I don't think much further explanation is needed. Uh, I hope you enjoy, and um, on with the video. Right, so what we've got here is the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant and Alpha Flight Controls. On top of that, we've got an old membrane keyboard that I found in a cupboard somewhere. Then we can just see to the right of that we've got um, a mouse resting on a book, which I've got resting on a few boxes so I can use it. As you see, I am right-handed, that just makes it easier for me to use it while I'm in my flight simulation cockpit, as you may call it. Right, here we have um, my headset, it's the SteelSeries Arctis 2, um, it's served me faithfully since I got it, uh, amazing audio quality and um, it fits really comfortably. Below that we've got um, my uh, old laptop, it's something I use for watching my streams, looking at chat and having my airport charts. It's really useful to have a, a second device like this, Some, you might be able to use a tablet or something like that. Uh, I found it to be really beneficial. Above that we've got my first monitor, I have two connected to my PC. Um, so on this one I like to have OBS failures, um, the thing that tells me my landing rate, a uh, few uh, sim things, uh, and my replay tool. To the right of that we have my main monitor, which is the one that's normally directly in front of me when I'm simming. Um, so on that I have my sim and sim brief. On top of the first monitor again, um, we have my webcam. I don't ever use this on stream, but um, if I'm on like a Google Meet or something for school, then that's what I would use. Now below all this, um, at the bottom of my setup, we've got uh, the Thrustmaster Pendular Rudder Set. Um, that's what I've always used for my rudder pedals, it's really amazing, high quality, heavy, doesn't move around at all. I really would recommend that if you don't have it. And to the right of that, we've got my PC, it's a HP Omen 25L, it's got an i5, I think, um, 1660 Super, uh, 24 gigs of RAM, and two terabytes of storage. It served me really nicely, but I probably need to upgrade that storage as soon as I can. Now to the far left, underneath my desk, we've got my amp. Um, it's quite a nice bass heavy thing that I just use to listen to music whenever I want to relax or something. So yeah, it's a nice thing to have in your setup, especially when uh, the um, speakers in your monitors aren't really that good. Um, the ones on my monitors at least are really tinny, but that has quite a lot of nice bass and I like to use that for music. So yeah, when I designed my setup, I designed it so that I can switch between a typing and flight simulation setup. Um, so as we can see in this video, if you just move the laptop out of the way, we can uh, move the keyboard onto the mouse mat along with the mouse, uh, and then we can move the monitors um, because they're on some rotatable monitor mounts. Um, and then it's it, for, it puts it into a more ergonomic um, typing position. So if I want to play any keyboard and mouse games, um, or watch YouTube or that kind of thing, normally I would use um, this sort of arrangement. Ah, and then we can just see behind it uh, my microphone, it's a TC30 I think. Um, it sounds alright I guess, uh, you tell me, what does it sound like now? Um, and then we've got it on a, uh, mic a uh, arm from my mic that I had before that, which was a Niwa something. It works alright, but then the bit that attaches it to the desk uh, bent a little, which is rather annoying. Right then, here in this uh, image, you can see my checklist, which is just above my keyboard. That's the checklist that I go through every time before I start streaming. The ones for um, actually flying the plane is somewhere behind me. And then we can see uh, my laptop monitors and all that, just in a sort of nice picture. So on my uh, laptop, we have top left um, my uh, channel page. Uh, when I'm going to stream, I normally have my stream open on there so I can watch it, make sure everything's going alright, it's not buffering and any of that. Uh, then top, uh, bottom left, we've got analytics and uh, my dashboard. Normally, when I'm streaming, I have um, stream analytics open there. Then to the right, we have airport charts. I think that's uh, Gatwick at the moment, but then I normally have uh, any airport charts that I'll need during the flight there. Then if we go on to the monitor on the left, 
we've got in the top left corner uh, Rand Failures, which is a mod I use to give more failures. I found it somewhere on GitHub. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want. Um, again, anything in here, I will leave a link to it in the description. Then at the sort of bottom left, we've got OBS, which is the software, OBS Studio, which is the software that I use to stream, and I'm starting to use it to record as well. Um, above that, we've got um, the uh, MFDs for the 787. Uh, you can just about see it. Um, I use them so I can look at it with a quick glance instead of needing to change my camera actually in sim. Above that again, we've got um, Sky Dolly, which is what I use to record replays. So if I want to try landing again or watch it again on stream, then that's what I'll use. Um, then in the right top corner, in the top right corner of that screen again, um, we've got the FMC for the 787. So if I want to quickly change something in flight, then I might use that one instead of changing my camera. Then directly below that, in the bottom right corner, we've got. Um, uh, Fly Live, which is the software I use um, to put the landing rate ETA and all that on streams. Um, it's a really useful software, and even if I'm not streaming, I'll normally have it open so I can check my landing rate. Then on my main monitor, which is the one that is on the right, um, we've got the simulator, obviously, and then the software, which is sort of in the Chrome tab, is um, Simbrief, which is the flight planning uh, tool that I use. Um, I've got a tutorial on the um, channel, so if you want to watch that, then feel free. So, with that, I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and that it wasn't too dry, boring, and unentertaining, if that's even a word. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was useful if you're planning to make your own sim setup, and yeah. With that, snake out! So.